This is Jeremy Riot with Renegade Radio, sitting down with Doyle. How are you doing, Doyle? Doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, my friend. First off, I uh, think you guys just hit the billboard, didn't you? The charts? I think so. How many? Uh, I think like five or six of them, right? I don't know. You don't know? I don't look at shit. <laughs> well, uh, congratulations on it, though. How's the tour going so far? Pretty good. Good, good. Um, so, I know that you've been playing for about almost 40 years now, something like that. You've toured all over the world. Long. I think so, man. I think so. You feeling it yet? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, um, I know that you just did the uh, did your first European tour. How did, how'd that go? It went really well. Good. Very receptive. So, the overall reception to you touring under your solo name was pretty positive, huh? Yeah, it's good. Awesome. Um, well, where, where was your, like in the world, where is your favorite place to play? Japan. Japan. Why Japan? It's fucking respectful and it's uh, really cool there. So, how would you say it compares to, well, I guess overall, just like the, the national audiences, how do you think it compares to the audiences in the States? The audiences in the States are not as much music fans as everywhere else. So, yeah, uh, I, I can kind of understand. They want everything for fucking free, and they're afraid to get into it, and all these other places, you know, they don't stand there with their phone in your fucking face. Right, they're, right. They're, they're there to enjoy the fucking moment, and it's... So it's a lot less like sh interaction with each other. The shows are bigger too. Right. Uh, uh, over in over in the uh, anywhere else. Europe. So. Anywhere with you. So I'm I'm going to go on and assume you'd much prefer to play over in Europe in comparison to the United States, and right? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't even blame you. I mean, um, especially with the the phone thing. Like it, you don't really see much interaction. Some motherfuckers will put the goddamn light in your face while you're playing. Like, like you're a zoo creature. <laughs> so it just kind of makes you feel like an alien, huh? Uh, fucking take that phone and throw it away. <laughs> um, well, I mean, well, you, you've been in the Misfits. Uh, you started started playing in the Misfits, I think, when you were like 15, right? Uh, back in the 80s. Um, what is something that you wish that you could see more in today's audiences that you saw back, you know, whenever you started started playing? Just the uh, the enthusiasm. I mean, they're way more crazier back then. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, speaking of the Misfits, man, how'd the uh, the the reunion go? Uh, okay. Went okay. Um, do you have any plans to continue that? I have plans. It's not up to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, do, do the other, uh, I guess, individual parties seem pretty receptive to the idea? Uh, I'm really not sure. Well, I guess we can all hope, right? We can all hope. We can <laughs> hope in one hand and shit in the other. Well, I mean, I know it's not really a, a big secret. You're entirely vegan. Um, how long have you been living the vegan lifestyle? About four years. About four years. What led you there? Uh, my girlfriend. Your girlfriend did. Um, I mean, have you seen any sort of... Uh, uh, have you seen any benefit to the vegan lifestyle that wasn't really uh, there with meat eater? I mean, physically? Yeah, physically. physically I'm leaner. You're leaner. Yeah. Um, what about like, like, is there anything like maybe mentally or, or uh, that that the vegan lifestyle can? Uh, it makes you happier. It makes you happy. It makes you more positive. I can, I can definitely understand that. I mean, you're not really basing your, your diet off of the death of another being, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, the destruction of your planet. So. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, do you have any advice for anyone who might be interested in getting into the, well, even just the vegetarian lifestyle? Yeah, Google it, you know, learn as much as you can about it, and, uh, you know, get open your, open your eyes. Right on. Um, so I know that you are, uh, well, or ha have you already started production on Death Ward 13 or? No. Um, so that's just kind of a thing that's kind of in the works right now, we right? signed the contract? Well, that's it. What, what led you to end up actually getting the role in the movie? Uh, my manager was, was pushing for it and I told him, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. 
Here we and you are did it. <laughs> I mean, were you familiar with the original movie Don't Look in the Basement? Maybe. Maybe. Um, Back in 1973? I don't know. It's an okay I movie. I don't really remember is it that. I don't know. Yeah. If I've seen it, maybe I would remember. Right. Well, I mean, do you plan to just leave your involvement in the film um, at the acting level, or do you plan on, like, making any music for the soundtrack? Well, we're going to put our music in it, and all our friends' music if we can, and that's what we're going to do. Right on. Right on. Um, well, I know that you created uh, Monster Man Records yeah. uh, for the sake of self-promotion, right? Um, I guess my first question is... For the sake of making more money per record. There you go. There you go. Making more money per record. So I guess, I mean, yeah, I guess that would... Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean... Was it always kind of your intention to kind of expand and, and sign other bands to your record label, or? Uh, it was, but you know, we uh, teamed up with a uh, EMP owned by David Ellipson of Megadeth, uh -huh. and we're on that label now with Monster Man. Right. And we're going to take the smaller bands, you know, give them some promotion and uh, you know, distribution. Right. Right. Well, I, I know that you're you recently signed Element A. I think it's a... Uh, A450. A450. 40. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. 49, <laughs> 49, 40, whatever. <laughs> Numbers. They're hard. Um, well, I mean, I know stylistically they're very different from the music that you make, right? Um, was it kind of your always your intention to kind of make the, the I guess, roster of the, the bands that you're signing a little more diverse? Or is it just really more... Just good bands. I'm just good bands. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, are there any other bands right now that you're currently looking at? Or I've been on tour, so I haven't been looking. My manager's probably looking at my... Right on. Right on. Once I'm not here, I just... They point and I go. Right, right. Um, so, I know that the album uh, recently came out on the second, right? Yeah. Um, how the crowds uh, received it so far? They're loving it, man. They're all singing the words and calling them out, and uh, it's really good. What would you say your personal favorite song or songs are? I like all of them. There's, there isn't one song I do not like on either record. On either? I mean, I, I have to agree. They're both fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, of thank course. You. Of course. Um, well, I mean, what kind of difficulties do you face whenever you're you're recording an album? Recording it. Recording it. <laughs> then mixing it. That's the difficulties. Yeah. I mean, is it the overall writing process? or The, the writing part's the easiest part. Right. The funnest part. Right. So it's just getting down to business and putting it on wax where it just kind of kind of sucks a little it's bit, right? Fucking, yeah. So I play it perfect, you know? It's fun. Yeah. Well, what, I guess, what is it that makes it kind of more of a chore um, to kind of spend it's that time? It's a lot of city? time, man. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of fun time. It's very... It's very stressful, it's a lot. Right. Just trying to make it perfect, you know? Right, right. Um, I, well, I am kind of curious, like, are there any tracks that you guys, or and ideas you guys kind of scrapped in the process that you plan on revisiting at any point, or? Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, do you plan on kind of revisiting any of that? Anything? Yeah, it's all good shit, man. We just gotta get it right. And, I, like, as, if I understand correctly, um, Doyle, too, um, as we die, was kind of a continuation of Abominator, uh, Abominator, right? Every album's a continuation of the one before it. Right. Okay. Uh, I guess I just had this understanding. I guess that the um, the music was kind of like from that album originally, or something. They some were all written in a big pile. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I know that you're on a really long tour. You're pretty much touring all month right now, right? Um, what do you think is kind of the the most stressful part of actually being on tour? Um, the most stressful part? Um, getting to the shitter in the morning <laughs> is the most stressful part because when you gotta go, you gotta go. So, I mean, I, you know, are, are you guys using the bathroom here? You can't shit on here. You can piss, but you can't shit, so... So you guys are having to make we got, some We got to get to where the fuck we got to go so we can go back. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't want to hold you up too much longer. I know that you're about to hit the stage, though. You can go a little longer. Uh, uh, next guy is, I think, 15 minutes. Yeah, right on. Um, 
Well, actually, I, I, I do have a couple of questions. Like, I, I know that you have a massive influence on uh, not just musicians, but just a, as a whole, like culture, right? Like you and the music that you've had a, had a hand in. Um, at what point did you realize your influence on the world around you? Um, when I'm getting on like uh, social media, people tell me oh, I'm a big big to you. I work out with you. Like it's all close to you. Right. So, I mean, is it kind of a heavy burden whenever you realize that that many people are just so heavily influenced by you and the lifestyles of you? Hey, trying to influence anybody, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Right on. Um, so there, there's not really anything that you would prefer um, audiences to kind of take away from what you do in the lifestyle, that you, well, not necessarily your lifestyle, I guess, but like the music as a whole that um, isn't necessarily immediately obvious, right? Right. Okay. Um, well, Doyle, um, I do uh, want to let you uh, uh, hop into the next interview, um, and I really do appreciate your time cool. today. Um, and I really do look forward to seeing you tonight. Good, you can have fun. Oh, absolutely, my friend. Right, Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, while you guys are at it, make sure you guys pick up Doyle 2 As We Die, uh, released again on the 2nd, uh, available pretty much everywhere. Ooh, man.